I would break the UUA president's job into three parts. First is the national pastoral and prophetic voice for our faith. The second is the administrative roles in setting the culture at the UUA. And the third is the chief fundraiser and raising the resources for the mission that we are being called to. The question's about administration. The UUA does not need a better manager. We need a clear and compelling vision for our faith at this time and a leader to help amplify all of our voices, to have an association that is amplifying the work of our local congregations and the leadership that we are providing all across the country. One of the things the president does, so it's not the daily management, but, there is, but the president's job is to set a culture for the association and we need to adopt a more collaborative way of operating that strengthens the relationships of the president and the UUA with our identity-based ministries as well as with communities beyond our association. That kind of leadership of being deeply in partnership across and beyond our faith is one of the gifts I would bring. I've been doing leadership and management for a long time. My first job at 13 years old was as a little league umpire. <laughs> Managing coaches and their behaviors far more than the little ones. <laughs> I had a brief time in genetic research. I have an undergraduate degree in molecular biology. I worked for, wait for it, Monsanto. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, and my second position with Monsanto was as a supervisor. And I could have been on that path to management there, but the call of ministry was deep inside of me. The other thing, so I've served as senior minister, lead mi solo minister and lead minister of two congregations, Youngstown, Ohio, Rust Belt City, Phoenix, Arizona. In, my, in both of those ministries, I've increased pledge giving by 50% and grown those congregations by over 30%. So I take seriously that my job is to raise the resources for the ministry to happen and for the staff and the leaders to have the resources to do the ministries they are called to and that our congregations need.